I want to talk a little bit more about backing um, a quilt with a knitted or woven item. And yes, I said knitted or crocheted or woven. Basically, when you're making squares to go on the back of a pieced fabric square block, um, you have a few choices. There are weaving looms. This is a weave it. And I showed in the other video a potholder loom. Now, um, I, I've done both in the past half hour or so. Um, and the Nellie B weaving loom, potholder loom, I've used for years. And I thought I had done this one square wrong because it's more of a rectangle than a square. Um, but I did two more of them, and they all come out like that. It's equal um, pegs or pins on each side. It's equal. I have no idea why that's happening. Um, and the one direction is just over five and a quarter inches, and the other way is six inches. So that's not going to work if I'm trying to back um, a block made of five-inch squares because I don't want an overhang. So then I went to the 4-inch weavits, and I figured, okay, I can um, cut my fabric at 4 and a quarter. This is a 4-inch template. Cut my fabric at 4 and a quarter, and back it with a 4-inch weavit. And that will work, except I forgot I bought pre-cut blocks, squares this time for the Civil War quilt, and they're 5 inches. And, I don't know, there's 150 of them. So, no, I don't really feel like recutting 150 blocks um, when they're already die cut at 5 inches. So, in a way, I do have the Weave It Rug Loom, which is a 5-inch loom, but it's meant for bulky fabric, bulky yarn, and for rugs. So, this leaves out, because I don't want to recut my fabric, it leaves out the two... I actually have about 10 of them, weave it looms, for the backing. And of course, many of you know I'm a knitter. And um, what I was doing with another, um, I think it was a quilt. I forget what it was, but I was knitting squares for the backing. And I was using Fisherman Wool Yarn by Lion Brand. That's not what this is. Um, and that yarn squishes down quite a bit. It compresses. Um, this is it, double strand and crocheted. And that was to beef it up a little bit. It, it really tends to get thin. And when I use that yarn for backing, 25 stitches on size 6 needles will give me um, about a 4 and a quarter inch square. It's not so big that you can't just fit it to the fabric um, block for the top. So here is Red Heart Super Saver Black, because the Civil War quilt, I want to do black and brown, black or brown um, squares for the back. And this is a thicker yarn, and there are 25 stitches, and yet it's coming out at almost 6 inches. Now, but here's the advantage to knitting. Um, I can, I found on Etsy, believe it or not, there is someone selling um, new pin looms in different sizes. The drawback, again, is that they're bulky, they're for bulky weight yarn. They're set up like a weave it, but the spacing is further apart. But they have all different sizes, so I could even get a 5 inch by 5 inch loom and do it that way. It's like $35. It was $29 for a 4x4 four four and $54 for a 12x12. 12 12. Now the 12x12 12 12 are hard to find. Um, so, and I paid uh, 40 something about seven years ago for a 12x12. 12 12. So that price of 54 is not that bad. But again, then you're hoping that your yarn works with your weave it loom. Weave it's um, generally come out at four inches. But like I said, my problem is that um, I have five inch squares. This is why knitting or crochet are both very good options. This is a crochet square that if I put another round on it, 
and this, I don't even know, this has been hanging around for a while. Um, if I washed it and blocked it, it would probably be the four inches. And the only thing you change in this is how big you make it when you crochet it. It's a granny square. So that's how simple that is, except this takes the most amount of yarn of these different methods. Crochet takes one and a half times the yarn of knitting. Now with knitting, here's my 25 stitches, but now it's too wide for the fabric I have. And all I have to do is drop down to 20 stitches. And I'll probably get a four and a half or a five inch block. And then all you do is knit until you have the length you need. So sometimes um, the weaving looms are the most economical way to use yarn. And especially the potholder looms or, or the weave it looms, pin looms, they make consistent sizes, even if, in my case, they're all the same size rectangle. Um, so they're very good products and they're good to have and they have a lot of applications. But in my particular case, it would be better for me to either crochet five inch squares for the backing or knit five inch squares for the backing. And this is why maybe I tend to end up knitting more, more often than anything else. Instead of having a loom of every size, you just add or drop stitches. So, I mean, it's kind of simple. Um, and this is garter stitch. So I'm going to rip this out, which is 25 stitches, and it's too wide, and go down to 20 stitches, and start again, and then knit until it's 4 inches long. And this is, uh, these are double point needles, but I'm only using two of them. And I have a small set of double points that go from size zero to size ten and a half. And I have it rolled up in a little, like, pen wrap thing. And um, it is, I have to say, extremely easy to just pull out two needles and knit a square. And, um, you know, on... For me, knitting is relaxing. I can be thinking of 50 different things, and I can still sit here and knit. So um, I just wanted to mention it's another option, and if you um, if you can use a weave it, um, then go ahead and use a weave it because it's a, it's the best way to get the most out of your yarn. But if you can't, then consider knitting or crocheting if you're going to do small square backings and we're still talking about the pieces of America quilt where you're doing a block of 25 squares five across and five down and you want to do a block of 25 knitted woven or crocheted items um, on the back blocks put together the same way. And what I'm really trying to avoid is overhang on either the fabric or the yarn item. Kind of a, a boring picture right there, but it's, it's knitting. <laughs>